Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barron at Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. About two years ago, I did a video on a collision domain versus a broadcast domain. Got some comments, said to redo it, and so that's what I'm doing today. Let's get into it. All right, we're back and we're talking collision domain versus broadcast domain. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the collision domain. And essentially that is the wire. And so in a switched environment, we're talking from the port of the switch to the device. Now hubs don't really exist too much anymore, but for the concept perspective of, of what a collision domain is, in a hub environment, it's essentially one long wire. So it would go from host to host to host to host, but it, it's all controlled centrally through this device called a hub. But every single host on that segment or plugged into that hub, only one device could talk at a time. And so in a larger type environment or a larger network, that would pre present a problem around communication and performance. That's a collision domain. It's the same segment of wire. So how it works is a collision is detected when it's measuring line voltage and it sees a certain voltage on the wire. It indicates that two people are talking at the same time. All the hosts on that wire or on that collision domain will see this signal that gets sent out and tells everyone to back off to basically be quiet for a random amount of time. And that's a jam signal that they see, they back off and then they start transmitting again. And so every time a collision happens, everyone stops talking at, for some random time and then starts talking again. And so that became very inefficient for modern day networks. So along came the switch and isolated that collision domain from the host to the port. And so that's why, uh, to take it one step further, if you see collisions on a switched port, traditionally that indicates a wiring problem because typically there would only be one device on each port. So if you had a host and a switch, uh, that'd be one device. And um, so if you saw collisions, it would be kind of odd that that would be happening unless maybe one side was full duplex and the other side was half duplex, like a duplex mismatch could mean a wiring problem. Um, so those are traditionally things that you would look at if you saw collisions on a layer two port in a switch. So let's talk about broadcast domains. Now broadcast domains are very a similar concept and in the hub world it was probably one and the same but as we transition to switches now we've isolated the collision domain to each individual port but the broadcast domain can span multiple ports so a broadcast domain is anyone on that same layer 2 segment now what does that mean well a lot of times people refer to it as a vlan so if i have a vlan it's a virtual network that i take a bunch of ports and put them into that virtual LAN and all of those ports can talk to every other port. That doesn't necessarily mean that a device on port 1 and, and port 2 in the same VLAN will actually be able to talk because there's another aspect to that which is layer 3 addressing. And so if they're not on the same IP subnet, so if you have one subnet on port 1 and another uh, subnet on port 2 but they're configured in the same VLAN, they may be able to see each other at layer two, but they won't communicate at layer three. Hope all this is making sense, but essentially a VLAN is a broadcast domain. A broadcast domain is, is essentially the ability to reach someone on a layer two perspective. Um, so essentially sending out a broadcast or the MAC address with all Fs in it basically is a broadcast sending out to all ports on the network. And so everyone will see that broadcast. There's also a layer three broadcast domain, which is the high IP of that subnet. So for a simple example, if you had 192.168.1.0 with a slash 24 mask, that would be 255.255.255.0. The network address would be .0 and the broadcast address would be .255. So if you wanted to reach all of the hosts in that layer three segment, you would send a packet out with 1.255 and that would be seen by all hosts. So we covered collision domain, basically the wire. We covered broadcast domain, the layer two segment, um, the VLAN, however you wanna name it, 
it's all similar to the same thing. And then we touched a little bit on layer three broadcast domains as well. So if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And I'll see you on the next video. See you later.